Hey, what's up guys? Here's an M2 SSD enclosure from Orico. They sent me this one so that I can share it with you guys. Now, the number one reason why you want to get this one is that you have a spare SSD that you want to make it usable by making it as an external SSD device. Now, we are going to open this one to try and see how it looks and how it works. Boom. That's the first look. And I really like the color. It's grayish and it looks like a military weapon, but it's not. Yeah. It is hard plastic the cover is hard plastic then it uses type c port and if you can slide this one that's how it looks like inside well of course it comes with a cable okay so i if you can i can feel this one it's tough kind of cable and has this adapter with it so you can plug this one type c to type c or if you have a port for usb you can plug that one and this adapter the good thing is it is attached to the cable so you're not going to lose it there you go and this cable is braided with kind of a coating so that it's not going to be destroyed right away which i really like well it comes with a manual but if you don't want to go through the manual just keep watching this video so that i'm going to show you how you're going to assemble these ones well i have this spare ssd which is a 256 gigabyte space that's a lot of space if you want to use this one as an external device so it comes with this rubberish kind of thing i don't know the name it is covered side by side with uh, transparent plastic we need to remove that one and then place this one at the back of the ssd because this will help absorb the heat from the chips those are storage chips and they get very hot now that heat will be transferred to the heat sink this is the heat sink the cooling system of the ssd so if you transfer a lot of things there back and forth and they get hot get that enclosure then slide make sure we have that correct slot there and then give it a little push then it will lock and one more thing here there is a rubber spacer here that you're going to place on that hole that will hold the ssd as a standoff all right you can go ahead and slide the cover as simple as that so let's try the cable here plug it yeah and i really like how this feels because you can feel that cloth on top of the cable now this comes with a i don't know how you call this one but something that you can use to hold the device or kind of uh, tie it into something else that you carry as well so cool idea let's go ahead and plug this one into my laptop all right so there's a blue light at the bottom that means to see it's reading so very cool lightweight storage device that you can carry with you hmm give it a thumbs up now here's a quick specification of this device the model number of this is mm2c3-g2 now this is space gray they come with two colors the other one is dark green and the output of this is type c but you have that converter or adapter that you can transform it into a usb port the transmission rate of this is 10 gigabits per second this is compatible with ssd m.2 nvme 2230 2242 2260 2280 thank you for watching this guys and i hope you've learned something from this if you want to grab one of these i'll place a link in the description below which is the amazon link see you in my next video guys